What is going on, my Reefy fan? March here, Frank Box TV. In today's video, I want to talk to you about some aquarium basics. And we're going to start with one of the most important things in keeping a saltwater tank, which is salinity. This episode of Frank Box TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. Now, I'm going to give the camera in a second over here to Kavina. She's going to be our camera woman. I don't know why I decided to zoom in to this beautiful little tank. And salinity, 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 salinity. Here you go. What do we use? Okay, I think a lot of Are we people, starting now? Yeah, it's already recording. We're, we're rolling, baby. <laughs> um, I think people forget how important salinity is in keeping one of these. It's a salt water tank, so it should go without saying, but I can't tell you how many times people come in the store for us to test their water, which we do, we offer that testing service, but number thing one, number one thing I check before we get into alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, nitrate, phosphate, um, ammonia, nitrite, iodine, strontium, potassium, all the different things we can test. First thing I'm going to look at is salinity, because if the salinity is not right, all the other levels, it doesn't matter. So we're always trying to keep our tanks, at least in this shop, at 1.025, maybe 1.026. Same as the ocean. And what we use to test is this right here. Where is our salinity tester? Ta-da! A refractometer. Go out and get one of these. It's one of the best single pieces of equipment you can buy for your tank. We offer one here. If you want to buy it from us, great. And if you don't, well, also great. So we do one in this box. Why is it in this fancy, you know, Gucci, the Armani of all refractometers? Because we like to put thought into anything we're going to make. And also, if you take care of it, this thing should last you up to 10 years if you take care of it. So it's a device well worth buying. It's not like a test kit. You know, these ones are great, the 25 bucks, and you get 60 test kits. This is going to last you a long time. That's why we did this nice box. It doesn't have to be from us. If you want to save money, this one's 100 This is the one we use here in the shop to test this, our own water. So I'm putting about 150,000 at any given time, dollars worth of coral. Show them how many nice corals we have right now. This is what we trust. And we have a lot. There's thousands and thousands of corals in the store. It's a really, really simple device to use. And it's really, it's, it's reliable, it's accurate, as long as you keep it, fill in the blank. As long as you keep it, what? Say it. Calibrated. Come, let me show you on the screen. <laughs> this is our, our to-do list here in the shop. And as you can see here, our daily tasks, every other day, we are recalibrating our refractometer. Now, I don't think you have to do that in a home setting. I think if you do it maybe once a week, that's enough. But look at the first thing we're doing. As soon as we come in, first thing in the morning, we're checking the salt. And we check it in all the different parts of our store because it... It fluctuates. It shouldn't as much as a home aquarium as if you're using like an ATO like this, auto top off reservoir, which will compensate for your evaporation. It shouldn't really move that much. I don't think you need to test salt every single day unless you're uh, anal about it, but we do just because there's so, so much on the line. Look how many fish and corals are in this tank here. There's a good amount of living animals and really our job here at the store is to make sure that they have the best possible lives they are in our care, they're in captivity, and that we're keeping them healthy. So I cannot stress enough how important solidity is. Now, this isn't the only way to test. There's other methods, but they suck. Now, I'm not sponsored by anyone here on the channel, so I have the ability to speak very freely. And if something's shit, I'm more than happy to tell you it's shit. So do not buy anything electronic. What does that mean? There's a HANA salinity pen. Now, HANA, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I love your product. I sell them. Phosphorus, great. Copper, alkalinity, okay. Calcium, magnesium, mm, not bad. Hanna nitrate, high range. These are all great test kits. This is bread and butter. We have this in stock all the time. I'm happy to sell it. This piece of junk, I will never carry. I will never sell this thing again. This is crap. This is shit. Milwaukee uh, Digital, also they have one that's like a digital refractometer. Junk. Neptune, another brand that I love. Look, you walk in the store, what's the first thing you see? I don't even have a frag box sign for our own... Okay, maybe I do. Right here. It's on the door. Someone was surprised to see the other day. Established 2011. We've been around a while. First thing you see when you walk in is really Neptune, because I love these guys. But your salinity probe, or sorry, conductivity probe, for 300 bucks, I want to throw it, but I don't because it's delicate and it's $300. 
this is a piece of shiitake mushroom. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, don't go digital. And this is not, it's, it's not the answer. You want a shortcut? It's not there yet. Really the best is a floating hydrometer, but they're very expensive, very easy to break. There's one more thing you can use is this. Now we sell these with our Reef Casa kits. I'm not in love with them. We needed something that was sort of affordable, entry, hobbyist grade. They work. You basically float it in the water and it's gonna float. You can't calibrate it. I don't know how long they're good for it. They're 20, they're 25 bucks. It's all right. If you wanna get a really, really good one, go with a refractometer. Go with ours, if you like. You can get them at reefcasa.com. It's gonna make a world of difference and I can't tell you how many people don't realize that the salt is off and you think that it's okay until you start having coral problems and it's a really basic measurement. And now that I'm starting to repeat myself, I think it's a good time to wrap up the video and that's it. We'll see you guys back here on the next one. I'm gonna keep doing things like this, aquarium basics. I'm gonna go and talk about things like testing nitrates, test kits in general, carbon floss, skimmers, dosing, pH, anything that you guys wanna see, comment below and I'll be happy to make a video on it. We'll see you guys back here on the next episode of Fragbox TV. Bye for now. Cut. Did I cut? No. <laughs> <laughs>